Just got done listing everything, rebuilding. It's lunchtime now. I just placed two Bricklink orders as well. I'm deleting my wanted list stuff as we speak so they don't buy the stuff again. We got 1,279 listings on eBay. And we're gonna check the wanted list here. So let's see. Uh, wanted list, wanted list. Here we're at 217, that is beautiful. The reason is because I was able to place an order with my favorite store. They, it's so funny, this one here, 37 lots. That was done on December 23rd. Said he had to open the store because he owed someone a refund, didn't want to put money into PayPal, so he's just gonna allow one order to come in. And at that exact moment, I was checking my wanted list and his store was open. He said he had it open for literally 10 minutes or something. And at that time I got it, so that's hilarious. So those three are coming, and I have others I have to get through. I have, oh, I have mail from Saturday I have to open, so we'll do this. All right, let's do mail. Two Bricklink orders. One is here, and this is a store that has really good quality. I don't know if this is the same one that I had a ton of bags at last time. I don't remember. Um, why I come here? I just seem to have good stuff I needed. I don't really see much I needed in there. Um, that was priority, but got these from the brick dude here. I came here because he had the best price on the quantity of hair For my pops minifigure because convention season hopefully is starting in April and it is almost January So I pretty much have all I need. I'll have about 40 of these guys ready for two conventions I may need to get a couple more heads or torsos, but I pretty much have everything I need This hair is the only thing I was only had like two or three of those lows left, but I have a ton of body and heads that I've been collecting in Brooklyn Quarters. Black helmets, for some reason, I, I just go through those a lot. And then these are $2 reddish brown capes. And he had some torsos on my list, a so coal tournament of elements or jungle coal, whatever you want to call them, coal knee pads, there's that. And then uh, this is a Lego order. I got 20 of these. I have 50, a $50 VIP I redeemed, and these were on sale for $3.19 each. So. I went ahead, and, went ahead and grabbed 20 of these to part out, so why not? There's a there's a parrot in there, I like that, that's actually a pretty good one. And um, can't go wrong with a shark, I guess. Just just a bunch of stuff, so 20 I thought was a good number. So I ended up paying like six or seven bucks with tax out the door or something. I'm not sure exactly, you yeah, know it was 20 times three, 60 bucks. So it was like 15 I'm thinking or something for all those after the VIP. And here's an eBay used set. I really wish it wasn't together, but that's how it was in the picture, so I'd rather take it apart than have somebody rip it apart. And this should have that guy. And he looked to be in great shape. So I asked questions about it. Before I place the order, just to be, I mean, the pictures looked like it was not really played with, like built and it looks pretty good. And then this is another one of those sets that I took a gamble on. The bag one is open. They say all they can see is a, ba a wheel was missing. And I saw that this was in there, the cape to that guy. So I figured, well, the guy should be in there. And I could have asked more questions, but I did see, yeah, I, did, I was able to see his helmet, I believe, in there. So I knew that was still sealed in there. So there's his head. And, uh, yeah, seeing this said, okay, it's probably all in there. If it's just a wheel, probably missing. And that there's his torso. And so we're good. We're good to go. You should be all there. So this can be part out as new. or so open bag. They said the bag was just ripped open, but nothing was ever built. As far as that goes, bag four is here. Bag two is here. And bag is here. So now I have two complete, except one wheel, new ones I could part out. Probably start with that one just because it's a used set and it's where to go. This one. <laughs> it's a used set and I'll get this guy for sale and then just hold on to that other. It's, if I don't have to open the sealed set yet, I won't. 
wait till things like this happen. Can we get this guy sell? Once this guy wants sells for a good price, then I'll, it'll motivate me to do the rest of those other two there. Oh, I forgot to pr do the prices. This I got this out the door like 55 bucks total, something like that. And then this one, I think I, it was 50 was the offer and 10 shipping, I think. So I think it was 60. I'd have to check. Maybe I will. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll do another clip. All right, so this one, because this includes taxes, it's 67. And then the other one was that for 61 out the door is what it was, 45 and shipping and tax. And then the new one, and I have sealed in a nice box, is 80. So there's a difference of, was it 70, this other one? So I paid an extra like 1250 to get one in a sealed box, I guess. All right, I'm gonna clean, clean this off. It looks clean, but it really isn't. He's the only thing staying because I have hairs coming with all the stuff that was on there. It's been there for quite a few weeks, some of the stuff I've been adding, little things here and there, but I'm gonna get all this to BrickLink. Got a couple drawers here, and then we'll move on to the mail. Got one there and a couple on the desk, on the table. All right, BrickLink, just play nice. Uh, so I had this part here on my desk, and I was looking it up. I just put in, uh, you know, radar lantern, or yellow lantern or something. Didn't come up. So, I politely put lantern there between yellow and Sinestro. I don't know why Sinestro is even in there. I don't think it should be. Uh, unless that's his symbol. I think that's just a yellow lantern symbol. I don't really know much about that. I could be wrong. Don't, you can correct me if you want. So I put lantern needs to be part of this description to help people locate this. Because that's how I would look it up. Well, I had to shut my store down again here on Monday. Because... I was uh, told we were going to Green Bay to go to Costco, and uh, I still have a number of orders to pack up, so let's see, that top pending $58 one I think was the last one I received last night, and then we have all of these today, it's not like anything crazy, but then there's three more Brick Owl. So if I go to everything that's in a paid status, we have 208 lots. I was up early this morning, so I don't feel like being up a lot much longer to do this. Uh, but I will definitely get it out. I might just get up early tomorrow morning to finish it. And then we only have 24 lots. So we have 224 to 230 lots total to pull. Yeah, we will get it done. But I'm hoping for no more. Well, sure, more more sales, but we'll figure it out. All right, one piece of mail came from DHL, direct from Denmark. Is that the country that Lego is from? I don't remember. Whoa! Got some American flags. We just got back from a few hour trip, so some clear tiles. Yes, that's really. Look at all that stuff. Gingerbreads. Ooh, look at that head. Some cloth. We got some cloth in there, folks. That's a good sign. Star glasses. Those are cool. And some pumpkins. We'll get these all sorted out. We'll check them out later. Alright. Monday night. I am pretty tired but we'll get this we'll get get this done and I think there's at least seven more orders that came in today and there's a fly down here for some reason how did you get down here oh yes okay, we're gonna get some of this stuff sorted out tonight so let's get moving all right we got four down this is the biggest uh, the biggest lot count 59 today so let's go all right here it is I think it was six after I started, so 12 minutes it took. And here's the winner, this thing from the Knights Kingdom 2 set I parted out about 10 days ago, two weeks ago. I, I specifically recall I got eight orders the first three days after I parted that set out that had parts that came from that set. Um, and this one was $8 for that thing. Someone brought some dessert ice cream cake from the birthday party last week. Last part. Alright, I stay a little longer than I was hoping for. Nine 
Nine o'clock, I was hoping to get upstairs, but that's okay. This is all I have left. Three brick link orders, four brick owl. I think it's a total of like 40 lots here and like 50 there. So hopefully we'll get that done in the morning. If I don't get a couple out in the morning, it's not a big deal. They were just placed most of those orders in the last three, four hours. So it happens. Um, but I just <laughs> unloaded 650 of these bad boys. Those Technic pins. So time to go to bed. All right, just rolled back down here. I got a solid six and a half hours of sleep, roughly. <laughs> Open this door back up. I have not checked to see if I have more orders. I'm gonna do these and then I'm gonna head to the, head to the computer and see what else we can, if we have anything else. I right, just opened the store back up. Um, just got done with this order and I'm going to the last brick link and then I, I have four brick call orders on the table. We'll see if I have any more. But I did have it closed by store last night um, and I had the bypass. If you ever see that, you can definitely place an order. I just do it to prevent, um, I guess, new customers from placing huge orders overnight and getting overwhelmed by the amount of orders I get. <laughs> um, but it, once I do this full time, that will never happen. I'll never shut it down uh, overnight because I'll have the whole next day to pack up orders. So just a just a part of the job, part of the season I'm in. But we'll keep on going. All right, here's my biggest sale of these uh, torsos in the UC004. So 14 out of 16, which I knew this is one of the more popular ones from the Series 15 Frightening Night. Um, so that would be here. They'll probably, they'll probably be the first one to sell it, I'm sure. I mean, at this rate, I already sold almost half of them. So we'll pull 14 of those, and there's 16 left. All right, I'm going to refresh Brick Owl here. Pull the screen down. I had four orders, and we still have four. All right, let's get this done. Looks like a 50. 260 lots total. And there's the first brick owl order. My alarm is going off. This is my backup alarm. 545. Stop. I need to get my headphones in. Uh, so they bought a skeleton, Minecraft skeleton, and they bought this huge sword. I don't know if they thought it was small or not. I've done that before. I bought large figure parts and I thought it was for a small one when I first started on brick link. Who knows? So look at this. I noticed this part right away because in the last part out, so this is in drawer 31 or 2137, it did not fit in there. But they only bought four. So it's still not gonna fit. I just I said it there and I meant to move it to a big drawer, but I haven't done it yet. Just like, just like that one. Still hanging out. All right, brick link and brick owl is done. I'll be able to get those all out before I start work, and then I have transitioned the cart already. The drawers that had space, I got all of them on this wall, I believe. Quickly scanning them up until I think right here. Yeah, the last one I took out. So. There's still some, definitely, I may need more, actually, I don't know. This is what it looks like. So, surprisingly enough, this is my most expensive order monetarily that I've done. it Not by much, but like 20 or 30 bucks. But it seems like the least amount of parts I've ever gotten. These are expensive, but we just bought some little more expensive things potentially I don't know I got 200 pumpkins and then I got away oh yeah, these were over a dollar each some more of that so let's check eBay here oh, 10 items whoa this guy is on fire sold two of these the last two days and now I'm out of them well I have torsos <laughs> I think I've had scumming too, but it's the headgear and the armor that are expensive. Here we go, here's a new part. And 
someone down here is trying to set the market a little too high. I am now the second person to have this part in America. The second best price in the world. So I got some of these armors and I was able to piece together three of these. They're going to be listed as used because I did not have new legs. Everything else was new. Disney Castle Knight statue. I just got this $55 brick owl order and I just am curious when I get orders that are big to plan out my day or night. And this order is 13 lots, 13 items. I am sure glad I put Batmans for sale. I always think, why am I, I have all these Batmans, what am I going to do with them all? I can't throw every single one of my convention stuff and put it on my, my $5 minifig stand. No, I can put them on here and somebody wants all of them. Not all of them, but a big variety of them. So thank you, whoever you are. Made my day. All right, I got everything added from that uh, order. It's about lunchtime here. And for that, I'm gonna place another order now. I have a list going here. And a couple things on the back, so I'm gonna put these away real quick and then I'm gonna brick pack everything together in a brick owl and then before I get any orders for some stuff. All right, let's check it out here. That many lots, and you'll see them both down here, 219, 903, so got some mail too. Uh, looks like a couple brick and orders I've been waiting for, some good ones. There are a few good ones, maybe one good one, two. Um, anyway, Brick Owl, you want to see something, I don't know. I get, I get asked, that, is it worth having Brick Owl? Um, it is more work, but it's more money, I mean... I don't know what you want to say on that. So since the end of May is when I opened my store, I've had that much in sales. So the, with the Brick Packer sync service, it's 1% fee. So right there you see just the Brick Owl sales, I've had to pay $80 to have the sync service, but then it also does 1% of your BrickLink sales, so which are a lot more than that. So yes, to get 8,000 more, I mean, they're talking about $80 plus a couple hundred more. Um, for the sync service to get, you know, say, say it's $500 I had to pay to get this much more in sales. It's not worth it. Definitely not worth it. All right. Tuesday's mail. Three, three brick, brick link orders here. Um, so we have this one. There's a card. I guess I don't know why I put it upside down. Big D's Toys. And um, I came here for these because I think one of the, um, the Hunted Ninjago figures has this. It's like a head wrap. I thought it was a neat part. I bought all they had. Uh, I think I did. And I'm going to put some in my store and I'm going to try to create another figure because I have parts. All those figure parts are pretty close to so the same. And then um, the store, I came for the skin. They had two for sale, but lower prices. So in America, I was trying to get a bunch to put on eBay. New, but couldn't find a lot, but two is good. And they had some other things that I found. Uh, like, what is that? It looks like a build. That is a build of some sort. Oh, it's, I think it's a Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, one of those magical, the cabinet. I don't know, something like that. I think it was like two bucks or something. We got some other things on my list. They had a taser face in there for a really good deal. And then this is from Poor Boy Bricks. This is a... If you watched, um, or if you know the name Mike Tyson, this is their store that last year they sent me two pounds of minifigs for free to review what I would pay for it. It was in one of my previous videos. Don't ask me which one, or I'm not going to try to find out which one. <laughs> but they came up on my wanted list for all these, uh, all these, uh, friends, mini doll things. They had a lot. And they must have just uploaded them because the prices were so good on this stuff. So, and they had a complete one there. And they got one of these legs, so I'll have a JDX for sale very shortly. That price is just skyrocketing. Anyway, so this is what I'm doing after my lunch is over. I'm on lunch now. Got all the, everything put away. And we will get to this, and then I have, I think I have one more at it too. Yeah. One more order here. I'll start with this one. 
Oh, I'm in the middle of placing my order on my list here. I took a break. Where are we at so far? 236 bucks. <laughs> and I've I've only gone across off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have 10 more items, and then I have three sets I want to go in and get all the good stuff. Here's some leftovers from those uh, foil bags I got last week. So this one I'm going to be parting out. I'm going to part out one figure, put one complete. It just so there's some cool parts I don't have in my store. I want in my store. This one I'll probably... I don't know. And this one I will probably part out with making a complete fig. And this one, probably keep whole. All right, finally got around to getting those numbered. So the new shoe boxes, they do wrap around. There's nine rows, there's three rows on the back. Wraps around there, so there's 27 total. So I'm gonna use bigger ones down here because I'm gonna do poly bags and then there's some instructions in there and stuff that are just, they shouldn't be in there, they need to be bigger. So I'm gonna get more of these. And I think I can get four rows, I have seven one two three four six rows here so hoping to get four i should get four but five would be nice so that goes there yeah i'm i might be stretching it well i think they actually have room to move over i'll definitely get four um i'm gonna move some of this stuff up probably not today i do have this duplo <laughs> that was right there so and then i any more of those? Because this one goes over here. I was trying to find things. I got tons of these dividers. Now, somebody just asked in uh, the recent blog where I get them from. I got them from, they're called Holt, H O L T, on menards.com. I don't know if they have them anymore. I haven't bought them for over six months. I don't think I'll ever need to buy any more. I don't think. I don't know. But I think I'm going to get another one of these little ones from up here. Okay, we'll put that there. This is kind of like stuff I need to work on. Right, I guess that works for now. I just have three of these now. Before I had one big one right here and then one more. So I can hold my mail there. That is kind of useless there. I don't really need that there. These can actually just be like, I don't know, back here or they can go there. So... We'll figure that out later. And the reason I wanted to get this going because I want to get these listed and I don't really want to put them in shoe boxes. I guess I could just leave them in this box itself, honestly, but I don't want to have the box sitting on the shelf for a long time if they don't sell right away. I'm hoping that they sell within a couple of months, but um, yeah, we'll get those for sale now. So what I'm learning from eBay and BrickLink is that these are all going to Brick BrickLink, I think. Um, you can get a complete set for 99 bucks. I don't know uh, if that sells. Let's see. Set. Um, sold. 10, 12, 21 for that one. Whoa. Now, some of these could be inflated due to that Series 9. See, it's not showing me all the series. But they did sell, like, this complete series of sold for a hundred bucks and I think I have at least three complete series I mean I would yeah so yeah there's 90 bucks there <laughs> so I may do a series of one I mean just I don't know if it's worth it I think there's yeah three complete anyway uh, if I look at prices on here in USA they're very comparable to BrickLink or eBay because it's 12 is the cheapest there so we'll see what we can do so i like the fact of selling a whole set but i think you're going to get 10 bucks for at least most of these actually so i will not do the complete set there's nine of them i think we're going to go all brick link like i said so when i talk about part out values i've checked a few of these in the past i'm like whoa that's terrible this one parts up to three dollars and 89 cents yet the cheapest one you can buy in america is 12 dollars. so that's what i'm talking about do not part out mixels now things are getting really interesting. Second one I'm on, there's only one for sale in America. And they want 15 bucks for it. And look at the price guide. That's not happening. They're actually way at the bottom. 
you know, it's America. I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? There's actually only a couple of used ones for sale. I don't know. Oops, I want to. I gotta do the right thing. Used USA. There's no one even selling it used in the USA. So, and then we have the third one. Slush Ho. Actually has three sellers in America selling it sealed and new. And it has a higher average price. We're doing price, which is my group in it. Okay. If it's showing USA or not, there. Uh, it's almost ten bucks. So there's one selling it for ten bucks. So I'll have to kind of get to that price there. Correction: I won't need to get close to that price. They have a minimum buy of five hundred dollars. <laughs> so I'll get somewhere by this price down here. Excuse my uh, not knowing about this stuff. Apparently the yellow ones come with four each. And then these are three and the green were three. Just did not know that. Well, look at this one. Part out value is 621 and the six month average. And items for sale in the USA. Very low. Price guide about 640, so it's about the same. So I'll probably just add it complete. Well, that's it. That is where they will stay until they're sold. I'm going to put the tops on, throw it back over there. All right, I'm finally going to get around to photographing these. I'm going to photograph them and put them right on eBay. Put them in bags and get them out of here. Been sitting out for almost a week. All right, got the photos on the computer. We'll do that later. Time's up. Got to I'm gonna go outside and ride the four wheelers in the snow. Well, we went out and got eight of these. The max is 10 that I could use for the spot I was looking at earlier. But got these. And I did see some Lego at Goodwill, 20 bucks for hmm, probably three pounds. And there was like city minifigs. There was an old Technic figure in there too, a bigger Technic. I left it. It's too much. And then what did I get? Well, I got things that I get and I never spend the time to list them for sale. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne cassette tape. Yeah, these are in great shape. Nirvana. Again, case might be a little broke, but Nirvana. I don't know if this one's any good, but this one certainly will sell. And then this, the Lion King CD, it looks perfect. Disney, can't, you can't go wrong with that. So after this clip, I'm gonna photograph these and get them ready for sale. Yeah. All right, it's Lloyd's out. sleeping on the job. There we go. Tuesday night, you lay there. Kids are going nuts. We're gonna pull these orders. One is done. And we have 10 total. All right, we did it. Up early. So yeah, we're, we're, I'm gonna get a jump on this for about 20 minutes upstairs and get, just get it set up so I can grab it anytime. I'll probably just end up pulling a bunch of hands out because there's a lot of them. Oh, I got a good 20 minutes, but I'd say that's a start. All these I pulled, every single one of those hands. So I'm putting all like the colored kind of sleepy ones there. I'll try to do some that I know are matches. And we're off. Right, we are at Wednesday here, December 30th. Oh boy. Brick link, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven orders. I just have to pack up the one starting at 31 there. And so that shouldn't take too long this morning. Brick owl, there are five orders, and I just have to pack up the four item one there and on eBay 28 so I gotta get moving here all right all the Bricklink and brick owl orders that's a beautiful picture and it's 640 time to get my first cup of coffee and finish it up all right shipping is finally done time to rebuild I have some few from yesterday too can't build that I'm gonna take out the ones that I cannot rebuild 
that Shredder movie sold for like 33 bucks. I bought a few months ago for about 15 bucks on Bricklink, so that was good. Um, and then yesterday, these two bags, my son was like digging through here, looking at what was in these boxes, and he found them under there. <laughs> they must have fallen, fallen from this area down to the bottom at some point. So we found a snakehead, and is it really a snakehead? The guy's name is Snake, and he sold yesterday. So I don't think I had another one right now. Pretty sure I don't. But here's his torso. So we have that. And we'll get the rest of the parts are coming, so get in there. And then we have Dr. Doom. He was waiting for his torso, so at one point I got it at some point. I don't know what the, I think they already have the caveman for sale. Not 100%, nope. <laughs> we completed three figures by what we found under, this, under that thing. We will be complete here in a moment. Alright, my last two rebuilds of the day. Added some stuff to my wanted list. And we're going to do a buy all here. I think it's at yeah, 252 right now. Let's see who comes up here. Waiting. Finding. I should say finding. Here we go. Ooh, Ralph says three. Uh, that means those top two have coupons too. They get to the top. He knows how to get me to the top there. <laughs> Welcome shop. I don't know if I want to go there. I've been placing uh, orders uh, overseas quite a bit and a great brick lab. Let's see if they have. Um, let's see. This one is that weird one. It has like everything that Lego's ever put out. With me and another seller I think that it's something to do with Lego. It's being silly there. The prices are just ridiculous. Have you seen this guy? They have 201 out of the 252. So that's not actually too ridiculous, but that is 350. <laughs> $17 for one of those. What is going on with this store? They're just jacking up the average prices like nuts. I don't know how they get any sales. Anyway. Let's see if I can place an order with someone. Alright, so I gotta go through these three Bricklink orders. I, re I rebuilt everything. Um, that one there. That one's a good one. Very good one. No mail today. I already got it. It's after lunch already. I've been, been taking it easy. New Year's coming. We'll get it ramped back up soon. Here's an honest success story. So I sold that. Shipped it. Uh, November 28th, it never showed up. They opened up a case after two weeks. eBay did say wait another 10 days. It never showed up by Christmas, so eBay closed it automatically and refunded them. So I got a message today on December 30th that it arrived. So I gave them my PayPal link and they sent me the money. That is an honest person. They had zero feedback, so I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure what they were going to do. So I got to leave them positive feedback, so amazing. All right, going through this first Bricklink order here. Yeah, the stickers are there for this cabinet thing. I'll build that and do out eBay, probably. I think, I have to check the pricings. But this I got for $4.50 each. So we'll say just say $5 time. If I were to buy four of them, that'd be $20 for four of them. So I went on eBay, and what did we do? I was able to get so they were selling a lot of two of them um, for $13.98 each, and they had two quantity. So I'm getting four of these out the door at $27.91. I don't know if that's actually a good deal, <laughs> but I couldn't find any better quantity for, for them. Uh, so what's that? Four times seven? Seven bucks a minifig if I just put the minifig cost in? So I'll have to see what I can get for them on eBay. All right, we'll just do it this way. I deleted the minifig, part out, part to part out one set. The pieces are worth, in my world, about eight bucks. So, so yeah, does that pay for it? Eight times four is thirty-two bucks. It, the parts pay for it. Get the minifig free. Yeah, I'm glad about this thing. People are buying it for a lot. Actually, it seems like a lot. I don't really know. 
Um, I paid two dollars for it. All right, we did it. I had to pull up the instructions because I had no idea how to build this. And this thing spins on there, and it actually did not come with that trans clear piece. The crown goes in there. I had over 300 in my store, so we found one. So here's this brick link order, these two items, and I have these bandanas, I guess. What are they? Headgear hood, open front, tied in back is the description. They have these dragon hunters because I do need to get, I think I have some of these in my store, but I can build this figure out of these parts um, at the same torso for sure. And the same legs. So I'm going to build probably five or six and put them on a brick link and then add the rest of these to my store. Well, apparently, this uh, hood also comes on this guy. And it's all the same parts head, body, legs. So I pulled out five more, got them ready, and I only had seven of these in my store, I think. Seven or eight. So I pulled five. So I'm going to make five of these guys with five of those and five of those. And then uh, we'll be done with this order. Alright, my day is over. So I'm going to come back down later and finish this last brick link order. And those are the ones I completed so far. And I had a couple that I had to put photos for. Like that one. That one. That's a new one. So photos are eh, not much to do. Probably won't do it this week, probably next week. Last night I spent about 20 minutes doing this and that's all I did. Alright, final day of 2020 and it will be a memorable morning. Because there are a lot of orders. <laughs> oh boy, I haven't packed up any of these. So it starts at the 12 lots. So right away I have three over 40. That's it, so not too terrible. I think I can do it. And Brick Owl, I have not packed up any of these. So I must get moving. And on eBay, 32 items. Which I was already uh, pulling these just now. And they're all here. So, let's get moving. Alright, here we go. Lots of Bricklink and one and three Brick Owl orders. So, let's get moving. Alright, here's an order. Uh, I had two of those in my store and both yesterday they were sold to two different people. It's weird. They've been in for sale for months, so <laughs> strange how that works sometimes. And then a bunch of pieces. And there's a note here. YouTube videos are great. Keep up the awesome work. Big fan of Lego Star Wars, so I'll be checking back for figs and sets. Thanks. Yeah, I'll definitely be getting definitely more figures up. Not sure when, but <laughs> in the next month I'll I have a lot to go through. So, but here is the order. They had zero feedback on Brooklink, so they must be new to Brooklink. So, the maybe the videos brought them to the channel, um, or the channel brought them. The videos brought them to Bricklink. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, thank you so much for the order and watching the watching the videos. All right, here's a time check. I think I can get it done. Out of these, there's one that's 15 lots, and then one that's 10 lots, and the rest are under 10. So <sighs> we'll see. Oh, this order, I hit a roadblock. I had to count to 100. One, two, three, four, five times. <laughs> so I have four more orders left at seven o'clock. So. We'll see if we can somehow get those pulled. Actually, three of them were the today's date. Oh, another one came in too. So yeah, three. So I think I only got to do three more then. It's two of them. Okay, and it's seven lots, thirteen lots, four lots, one lot. All right, mail took a long time this morning. That's okay. And uh, this is from last night. I never finished this. We are editing a vlog on Thursday morning because tomorrow's New Year's Day and I don't probably want to do that. <laughs> I might, I'll be down here packing whatever orders come through in the morning, but I won't be down here too much after that. As far as I know, you never know what the day holds. 
So I got this still spark link order to go through. And then these are already ones I completed. Got to relist them. After I get done with this, I have no more mail right now. I don't think. See, I set this up. This is my uh, my mail when I get mail here. I put it there. This is kind of my pending stuff I want to get to. Um, along with all of this stuff. <laughs> and some of this stuff. This stuff I just got to put under the stairs at this point. Actually, these don't go to the stairs. These are just set there because they're off the table. And we got to get through some of these. Part them out. Add complete figures. I'll probably do this on New Year's Day upstairs quite a bit. I'll probably finish. I'm sure I'll probably finish that. And I'm debating if I want to make it harder on myself. I mean, you got to go through the stuff at some point. Why would I just leave all those in there? I won't mix them with that, that's for sure. But, but you know, in the end, I'll just get another tray. Like, I have these arms in here. Going there. So, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? And then there's. <laughs> oh, and then there's more. Oh boy, that's gonna be a big job. It's gonna add lots of money and lots of parts to my store. Alright, here's what we uh, recreated. Every single one has photos already. So I just quickly uploaded them all to eBay. Uh, put them away. Where'd they go? Some in there, some in there, and two in there. So I, I have them laid out, laid out. These two go over there. This row and this row go in the middle row. And then Ninjago and Star Wars are basically the only thing there, except there's Harry Potter and one of those two. All right, just relisted all my stuff sold last night. Let's see, I guess I'm gonna get a number check on everything real quick while we're here. Uh, 1,265 listings on eBay. Like I've said before, I know it's not gonna get up over 1,300 anytime soon. Um, the way sales are going at least, it won't. And then on Bricklink, there's our numbers. We went down 5,000 parts from uh, last Saturday, and it's, and it's Thursday right now. So you can tell there's been lots of stuff going out the door lately. All right, back from lunch, and I pulled one of these over. I started a few weeks ago now or something. Um, I kind of I don't have any trays like this that have any big spots open to sort things. I wanted to do a used set today, but I just I didn't get around to it. So next week I'll just I'll hit some used sets. But today I'm going to take care of this, and I have two more sorted, I think. That I'll take care of next week too. And then I got this little bag that's dumped out. And I'll try to go through. It's got some good stuff in there that I need to get for sale. That, that, that. And so on and so forth. So a lot of this I'm gonna, not a lot of it, some of this I'm just gonna put away. And I sort of, you just never know how many you're gonna get. So look, I don't have any of that color in there. So that goes in there. These ones I'll sometimes sell. But I just uh, throw them in Prince of Persia. And like I've said many, many times before, eventually I'll just go through and list all the stuff on Bricklink, potentially. Build as many figures as I can and list the rest of the parts on Bricklink. Um, but something like this, these are just all like headgear things. I'm going to first separate the basic visors out. And then I'm going to go through my visors I have. And ones I know I don't use very much, I'm going to put on Bricklink. Some of these I use a lot. And then once I do the regular visors out, I have this drawer full of other stuff that'll add to the other things, and we'll get all that. As many parts as we can on Bricklink from all this. Busting out tray number two. So what I'm doing here is, got through the standard visors, I'm gonna put all these firefighter things here, and I have these firefighter, this firefighter bin that was there. We're gonna do that. That'll come up next. I don't know why that's in there. I'll go in there for now because we'll be doing that too. And uh, gonna separate all these now. I got all these sorted. There's some stragglers, so I'm just gonna put those with the other ones I kept. No reason to go back and waste the time to look them back up and add them. That's fine. No big deal. Uh, these I'm keeping for Nexonites. This goes over in my 
I guess, is my clone gear. I got, I think, three drawers to sit up. I try to sort them and then just get, I just go so fast when I'm sorting stuff, it just gets, just, you know, throwing whatever drawer I open first. And then, uh, I'll just put these in here. This is actually, I think it's clay, yeah. There. Um, so I'll keep a few of these, you know, this is the drawer that I emptied out from right here. So I will keep a few of each of these, maybe five of those, I don't know, I keep getting more of those. I'll keep a couple black ones of these only, I think, because that's he's on the, Dar the Battle Damage Darth Vader. And I might keep a couple of these yellow ones for Atlantis, I don't know, I might add all that, who knows. And I'll keep a few of these because I do use them from time to time. I know I'll have more all over the place, but... I'll keep this, it goes to one of those uh, Gravity Games snowboarders, this one. I think I paid for that one recently to add it to my collection here. I got one piece of mail today on New Year's Eve. And it, get, it came in two bags. Look at that. Wow. 18 lots, 89 items came in two bags. They're risky. Someone's going to get mad about that. Not me. Um... So anyway, this I checked is my 141st order with this store. I have 142 I just placed today, so that's nuts. I wonder what the dollar amount is, because most orders are around $50. I try to stay under 50 because it adds another insurance mark, $100.25 if you go over 50 bucks. So if I'm just over it, I'll take some things out at times. <laughs> so I have to pay the extra. Because I know I'll be back the next week or so. Um, this is a $41 order. Now oh, taxes are adding up. Dang it. Darn tax. Anyway, these are for the Monstrucks. I need parts for the Monstrucks. Uh, Nexo Night thing. I don't know where it is. Here it is. Uh, I think I needed both this and this. And then some of these, I didn't feel like looking for these. Those go to it, two of those. I might already have them in there. And then got some more parts for some Minecraft stuff. And this is to the donkey I need. Did I put it under donkey or mine craft donkey? There it is, donkey. Just donkey. I think I can complete this one now with, uh, I was just couldn't find these. So I found the piece to go in it, but I couldn't find the bottom. So, And some other stuff. We're going to go through this real quick and then take a break. We'll take a break from all this stuff I'm at. I feel like I'm going real slow. I got two emptied out. This I just got to add these. And the firefighters are done. I got two emptied out, but I also got this drawer cleaned out. And then these two cleaned out. So then next up, I'm going to do the construction drawer. We got some stuff here. Alright, I was able to complete five things with that prickly quarter. And I added some stuff uh, in there. Still waiting for a couple parts on a few. And this I did all by memory, muscle memory, they call it. I've been built, I built it probably about 30 times now, I'd imagine. <laughs> I think the first time I bought these, I bought 25 of them. And then I just recently bought 10 more, maybe. And I've sold it a few times since then. And, uh, yeah, so we list these and get back to this, this job here. All right, moving on to the hats. This is what my construction bin looks like now that I'm keeping. I kept all the, the long hair ones. So these were, both were pretty much packed. I love doing this. This could I consider like housekeeping or maintenance. I don't know. These are all the stuff for sale now here where all that stuff went. And then I got this and then I got this. I didn't do this that long ago. I did it over the summer. And this seems like there's a lot in here again. It's weird. That's just for me sorting, you know, when I get minifig lots or stuff like this. I'll sort some stuff out of here. Um, if there's random accessory stuff or hats, they, they go in a certain spot. I don't list them right away. I put them away until I get a bunch. It makes it easier. In case you don't know the difference between these two, this is a long bill. This is a short bill. These are the newer versions. These are older. Um, I mean, they're pretty easy to tell when you put them side by side. There's a bit difference in the, the length, so they're different parts. All right, so so far I'm keeping all of those, and then I'm going to probably put maybe five of each 
of these bigger ones in there just to have some. I don't want to put them all for sale and sell them out. I'm sure I could find them if I needed to somewhere else, but um, so I'm going to get three drawers out here for the ones like for the, these ones I need there's three different kinds. The long I'll do long bill here short bill there and then the newer version and so yeah, I really should sort this stuff down but do it once and it's done for almost a year basically. Alright we have them all lined up the short bill, the long bill and then the newer style ball caps so adding them up I'm guessing there's a few hundred here it doesn't look like just looking at that but you know there's got to be almost 50 in here between those two another 50 this is a lot in there <laughs> a ton in there so i'm guessing this is the date june 21st is when i added the last time because these are still here some have sold but there's 33 of those these are added December 2019, so 21 of those, three of those, and these are just added recently. The white one's only one. So it's a long flat bill. So the oh, these are the old ones. Oh, yeah, here's the short curved bill one, and I have. Ooh, let's see. 46 blue. <laughs> so the, I did this December 2019, a year ago. And I should probably lower that a little bit. They've been selling, but I have so many now. All right, that's it for 2020. Is that the year this was? I don't even remember. But uh, yeah, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching.